Hey, Hannah Mouse one here. In this video I will be customising this simple wooden birdhouse. Um, this was a present from my granddad, he saw it and thought that I could do something with it. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a woodland theme for this because I figured it's a woodland item, isn't it? It's about birds, nature, sort of thing that goes in your garden, so I figured I'd try and be thematic with it. After sketching out my design quickly and tidying up some of the um, bumps and ridges with sandpaper, I just went over um, the roof with a nice leafy green acrylic paint. Um, yeah, I found it had pretty good coverage, it needed like two coats for the most part, um, which was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I go across the entire roof in the same colour, making sure to get over all the edges. Um, one thing I will say, I wish I'd mixed up more paint from the get, like um, I had to keep mixing more and just hoping that I pinpointed the same colour and stuff. Um, I should have just painted, mixed up a bigger batch from the start, but I did not because I'm not that clever. <laughs> um, yeah. So I go all the way around the underside of the overhang as well um, and then I start bringing it down onto the main body of the house um, to start making out some tree outlines um, that are going to make the bulk of the scene. Um, it's just going to be a tree on each corner then one in the centre of each of the larger faces. Um, so yeah, I just go all the way around, making out like the trees are interlocking with each other, like it's just one solid mass at the top, um, and it just but they're really separate trees, um, and I think it looks quite cool. And I also use the same green for some bushes at the bottom, just to tie everything in together. Like having the same colour at the top and the bottom does help bring the whole thing into like its own collective thing. Like it helps frame it. Um, I use a nice brown for the trees obviously because what else would I use? What other colour would I use for that? But yeah, I just go over all the trees in this brown colour. And my headphone cord is getting dangerously close to that paint there. But still, it's fine. So yeah, I just go over all of that and I use a darker brown for the um, deeper sections like behind the trees. Um, just to give the entire scene some depth, which I think looks quite good. And I do the same obviously on the other side as well, just going over the whole thing as such. You can see a lot of the outlines and stuff I did do get covered up, but I end up moving a lot of the creatures and that where they were anyway. That was just helping me finalise my idea, but yeah, um, I, tend I did deviate quite far from the original plan. I used a darker green to add some shadows to help give the entire thing some dimension and make it look less like um, a kid's cartoon. I mean, it's still cartoony, it's meant to be, but like it looked way too flat and like it, it needed some more um, pop, so I used some dark paint to give it shadows. And I draw some leaves on the roof for some variation. Um, just for some visual interest because this area is quite big and flat but it was also a bit plain which I wasn't a huge fan of. So I just go over the entire thing adding it randomly. There was no like pattern or anything I was going for here. Um, I touch up the edges with the original green colour and then I go around the edges of the trees with a shadow brown colour which is like between the two shades of brown I've used before, closer to the lighter one. It just um, helps frame that. I do the end of the log that um, comes out of the front tree as though it's the interior of the wood, not the bark. I just think that looks better and makes the entire thing just look a bit more interesting. Then I add details onto the leaves with a light green colour. And I also add highlights across all the leaves just to make it look like more interesting. Then I use um, the light brown colour I used for the base um, to make a circle and then I add some detail to the log uh, while that dries and then I touch up the edges of this circle. This is going to be an owl. I start to add on some details of that with a nice brown colour. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. Uh, 
and I just go all the way around marking out where the eyes are um, and I also give it some little owl ears I think it's pretty cute um, and I add some details to the stomach also it kind of looks like a brown version of the Duolingo owl that might just be because that creature haunts me in my nightmares I add a shadow on it just to make it distinct from the rest of the wood and I add on some whites for the um, eyes. While that's drying I move on to my next creature which is going to be a fox. Um, I just start off with the orange for the head and I then move down onto the body I'll add all the white bits later on. Um, I was kinda improvising with this, I wasn't entirely sure how to draw fox. Animals are always difficult to draw. I had a few reference images up on my screen. I had on the um, pupils for the owl and I give it a little orange beak. And then I go back to the fox and start blocking out the white. Um, just to start figuring out where that would be. And yeah. I actually think the fox ends up coming out the best out of all the animals. I think it's pretty cool in the end. Um, so yeah, I just go all the way around and then I add on its little tail and such, just... Oh, my brush was really crusty at this point, I needed to like, straighten it out. It's a really rubbish brush, it's from a craft kit, I think. <laughs> but yeah. Then I um, add a deer to the front, like hiding behind the trees just to add more visual interest to the front. And I add some more detail to the fox. Um, yeah, like I said, I think the fox comes out looking pretty cool in the end. And I add some facial features to the deer. And I start adding some shading just to help um, make it look more like an animal, not just like a pink blob. Um, yeah. I think the eyes are really cute on the fox, I do like those. And then for this side, I decided to do a rabbit. Um, yeah. I think it comes out pretty cute. Oh, for it's probably my least favourite out of all the animals I've drawn. Like it's pretty basic and it it doesn't look great in the end, but like I think it is recognisable as a rabbit and let's just say it's lucky it's as far away as possible from Foxy over there. But yeah. Then I just go over everything in Mod Podge. I would like to use a stronger varnish because it's going outside, but Mod Podge is what I had and it does the trick, so yeah. It, the paint will fade if I leave it in the rain, but whatever, probably. Um, but yeah, this is how it comes out in the end. I think it looks really cool and thematic, and I do really like it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed making it. Uh, stick around for next week to see another video, and I hope you enjoy that one too. Bye!